Right now, San Antonio is working to crack down on crime hotspots, areas of the city impacted the most by violent crime. Phase one included officers in those areas during peak crime hours with lights on for at least 15 minutes. The city, UTSA and San Antonio police looked into the data collected and now focused on potential solutions. News for San Antonio's Amanda Henderson tells us why leaders are moving one southeast neighborhood into phase two of the plan. The southeast side of San Antonio is home for Rachel Rohr. We've been here 36 years and we'll be here until the end. With her love for her neighborhood comes hope for change, especially regarding nearby crime issues. We have not only the Rosemont, but we also have homeless people. We had a new roof put on our house maybe about less than a year ago, and we found two bullets in our roof. You hear shots almost nightly. The Rosemont and Highland Park is one area UTSA is calling a crime hotspot. Data from their criminology and criminal justice departments analyze these categories for each hotspot area. The apartment complex is the only one to rank top 10 for violent crime incidents, arrests, and calls for service. It's mainly for those reasons the city's public safety committee says they're focusing on the Rosemont at Highland Park. But neighbors in and around the area say they want to see more done to help their safety. We have a lot of elderly in this community and then they have maybe grandchildren or their sons or daughters living with them, but we all deserve to have peace and quiet and especially safety. The area is part of the second phase of the city's violent crime reduction plan. Recommendations include addressing roaming and stray animals, monitoring criminal activity, as well as adding lights and fixing sidewalks. Highland Park neighborhood president Erin Gallegos Reed says she would like to see something additional added. Sidewalks and lights aren't going to do anything because the crimes are often done in the summers when the daylight lasts longer. We need actual patrols. These recommendations are set to be implemented before this December. UTSA's research team will report results every six months. The apartment complex is in District 2, so I reached out to Councilman Jalen McKee Rodriguez and his team to take these concerns to them, but the councilman was unavailable today before our deadline, so we will work to find a time to meet up. For News 4 San Antonio, I'm Amanda Henderson.